girl, you have no idea. I've been trying to do the video for like three hours. My computer had some updated updates when I came back from Mexico last week and I haven't used it to make a video. And for some reason, I set up the, I set up everything, the whole stuff. I check on the settings. I checked on the sound. Everything was fine. Went to get changed and went to get the device. Came back, did the video was going to send it to the YouTube well to upload it. Didn't work, there was no sound. Did it again, the same thing. I checked on the sound, it was working fine. Went back, well I come back. Did it again, it didn't work. And then I tried to change the settings and modify the sounds and the inputs and the outputs and it's not working. I'm getting crazy. So now, I know you need it so I'm gonna use my phone right now and I'm just gonna send it the way it is okay I'm gonna make it shorter so it just goes through faster I probably will try to send it to you through your email because Facebook might not let me so anyway device you have the gel you have the the ferment cream and then you have the napkin water correct okay this one is like a condom for your device. You don't need to put it on if you don't want to. It just prevents a little bit of more humidity, like water and gel, to come into the device where the batteries are. <clears throat> Always try to take off the batteries when you are not using it, okay? Use this little cord, step on it while the batteries step on them so you can pull the cord and the batteries will come out. If at some point, the batteries seem or is giving is flashing you like there's no battery but you're sure the batteries are new for example it's because the little latches inside from putting in and out the batteries constantly sometimes they uh, they smash against the wall of the device and they don't touch enough the surface of the battery so you just have to use like a little i use a little knife and open them again okay and then we'll find um this one definitely use this one because this one will prevent totally humidity and gel and water to get in to the battery recipient so of course i'm not going to do it physically because that will take us forever now you have to know that technically you are supposed to do three rounds of five minutes per area okay any given area so i'll show you for example Let's see that you want to do the, the belly here. So you're going to get the, a little bit of the gel of this, the device, on the device. You can put it on your belly if you want to, but I, most people put it on the device. And I always spray the device a little bit, and I always spray both hands. Like I get down both hands because sometimes, because it's tiring. You're talking about 15 minutes per, like it takes a while. But it takes less than a workout, and since I hate to work out, well, that works for me. And so, I sprayed both hands, and I also spray it on my whatever area you're going to treat. And then you turn it on. There's only one setting, so there's no, you're not going to get wrong anyway with that. So you, you, well, no. You put the gel, rub it in. Let's see, one, this part only, because it's going to work for, we're going to work per areas, okay? So rub it in here, turn it on, and then the first thing that you do is to kind of uh, loosen up the fat, that's it. So you are going to do circular movements, okay, circular, all over. You can do like this, you can work a little bit here more. Normally I have like a problem here on the, well, you cannot see it a lot, but a little bit here a little bit not that long of course but here I do like this and then like little circles here all over okay the same thing applies if you're gonna do it on your arms like here for example you will do like little circles you don't have to go super fast because really the device do does most of the job so just like rub it rub it rub it like that same thing if you were going to work on your thighs, you, you, you do like this, 
or on this part if you wanted to. Now important, do not ever, ever take the device off your skin, right? Because the device is smart, so it, it self adjusts to whatever your body needs, to whatever your skin needs. So if you take it off, if it loses contact, it stops. And it, you will see it, it stops flashing and it stops beeping. Starts flashing, stops beeping. So that means that it lost contact and it has to reset again. So you are really wasting time on that. Uh, so never, if you're gonna change hands, for example, let's say that you're tired of this, then do it like this. Do not take it off. Now, you do that for five minutes, whatever you are going, wherever you're working, then it's gonna stop, okay? Now, you get yourself damp again with the spray. The Napa water is ideal because it has urea and it has aloe vera and it has hyaluronic acid, so it's really awesome. You could also use water or rose water if you didn't have any, whatever. Just get your stomach area and hands damp and turn it on again. And now you're gonna swap. So really, you're gonna do like, in case of the stomach, for example, you do like this. Uh-huh, up. This part, when you are removing fat on the first phase, you do like this, okay? You can go as low as you want. If you have like a little bit more hip hair, like low handles or whatever here, you can work a little bit further here. You just do the left. So in the second one, you just kind of like swap. Kind of like, I'm not, it doesn't slide on me because it doesn't have anything. So you're going to kind of swap it without taking it off. Now, um, when you do all the movements, you have to work towards what you want the muscle to be. So this part, for example, that's why it's up to prevent your belly to go down. Because this one works with the muscles too, right? So if you do this, the muscle is going to be down too. Same as with the face one. When you are trying to lift up your face, you go all the way here. When you're on your way down, because you don't want to take the device off your skin, you go on the side. So most of the surface, well, this is not the face, obviously, but most of the surface on the way up will touch your skin, on the way down, you put it like slightly on the side. Same here. When you go up, you go all the way. Down, you go a little bit on the side, just barely touching, so it doesn't touch. It doesn't lose contact. Okay. Uh, so you do this. In case of the legs, everything goes up to the to the to the center, to up in between your legs, basically. The arms go all here. So it's. Uh, lymphatic drainage right so what you want to do is to canalize to drain all the fat towards the exits which are here 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 in the middle there's one there's one here and in the middle too so so you do that for five minutes now I combine I personally do all of the removing the fat removing with the sweeping at the same time, in the same five minutes. So I only do 10, your choice. After that, then you do the, the drainage, and then slightly, and then all the way, and then slightly up, and then all the way. Same with the stomach. In the kind of the weights, for example, on the circles you work like this, you can work actually to your, your back if you wanted to, um oh yeah so on this case for example you do this all the way here up and all the way here and up on the side see and all the way here as long as it doesn't lose don't make it all the way here right because it's gonna lose and it's gonna be touching the plastic just make sure it touches the metal plaque but here are the points. So do this so the fat can go this way. You can also do like this. Uh huh. So it's the same thing for any kind of area of the body you wanna work. 
it's basically one round. I do one round, like I divide like one of the rounds, like in circles, kind of all this part. And then I start like kind of like swapping all the stuff or whatever. And then I do a second one only on these on the sides. I do actually one and then two and then three myself. And uh, that's it. I also work like these parts, these parts in the back. So whenever you're wearing like, um, you know, like kind of like braless clothing, it doesn't, you know, how it gets here. I don't like it, so that's what I do. Okay, and then I normally leave the gel on until I shower the next time. You don't have to. If you think it's too sticky, you can wipe it off. I leave it on. Uh, and if you wipe it off, or whenever you shower, then you use this one, which is the Ferment Lotion. This one, you can use it also on your neck or your chest here. If you used to have a lot of like sun, uh years ago or whatever and you have any kind of like sun damage a little bit dehydrating stuff like that you can use that here too uh this one will seal all of the process so it's pretty good most people will wipe off the gel and then apply the cream i just leave the gel and the day after i apply the cream so um let me see what else am i forgetting that's it. That's it. You're supposed to do it two, three times a week. <clears throat> uh, I just normally do, normally I actually just do this part. But then I started doing this. And now uh, a couple of days ago, I started doing my tights in the back. And it was really good. So I think I'm going to be doing that. If you wanted to lift up your little butt, you can too. You have to do it all the way up. It's like working on a muscle, really. It's like you have to work on the muscles the way you want them to go. Same as with the face one, see? The face one, for example, you do it like this. And then you slice it on the side. And then you go like this. Slowly. The, move, the moves don't have to be, they don't have to be fast. Because the device is doing pretty much everything for you. Okay? So you can actually go slow. It's tiring, yeah. So normally a lot of the people, well, a lot of the girls, they do like one area per day. Cause yeah. I normally do it at night, so I'm watching TV and I do it in bed. So you, there's positions that you can be laying down that it's easier, so you don't get as tired. I can show you that later on if you want to, once I figure out the freaking computer. And so, I don't know, I'm gonna try to, um, send it to um i'm gonna upload it on youtube i don't know if i can do it from my phone i guess i'm can so i'll let you know okay thank you i hope it works bye